Hello, this is Pin Action Photography, and I wanted to talk about the debate on urethane versus 2-inch pins, which seem to be causing a lot of buzz in the bowling industry. In the 2020 PBA Oklahoma Open, Sean Vash gave his honest opinion about urethane. I'm not a big fan of urethane. Everyone on tour knows it, and I think we should ban it. This caused bowlers creating a discussion about how they felt about urethane and why some dislike it. As a tournament bowler, I am not the biggest fan of following a pair of someone using urethane, and disclaimer, I am not an anti-urethane, however it is evident that urethane changes the pattern much more drastically compared to reactive. I've been coming across a lot of comments mentioning a 2 inch pin and personally, I do not have the touch for urethane as well as I do for reactive compared to others. Radical Bowling has a layout referred to as layout E which is a 90 by 2.5 by 45 but I tweaked it with a 2 inch pin instead of 2.5 while my urethane ball is laid out 85 by 3.5 by 40. As far as urethane, I found the shape to hook super early and be super continuous in the back, which is what urethane is designed to do. What a 2 inch pin bowling ball does, it manipulates a low flare layout, and since the core is taken out of play, the cover sock becomes the engine. I found both the 2 inch pin bowling ball and the urethane to give me two different shapes where the urethane went early and rolled while the 2-inch pin didn't hook early and it was just super smooth, controllable, and very predictable. At first, I had no idea what to expect with a 2-inch pin bowling ball since I'm more used to using 4-5-inch to five inch pin to paps and I was almost afraid to punch up a high-end ball since a high-end ball is ideally made for the heaviest of volumes or the long patterns yet it does create a unique shape that I can imagine myself using for the short patterns or even in a later 8-12 to game block when the oil starts to fade away or if I wanted to keep my angles going straighter. Theoretically, if more players want to use 2 inch pins instead of urethane, logically it would make the transition not as quick and less ugly since urethane tears off the oil in the front part of the lane and pushes it further down the lane, which causes the extreme wet-dry reaction, also known as over-under. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to see more future content on my channel.